friends, how are you? Let me pull up my iPad. How do you like this? Say hi when you get here. I broke a nail yesterday. <laughs> Total bummer. Okay, there we go. Let me turn it down. There we go. So I'm going to try something new. Got the camera set up a little bit different. Hi, Valerie. Happy birthday. Hi, Missy. Hi, Denise. Okay, I know we're not night owls right now, but um, is this a nooner or what? <laughs> Hi, Paula. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Barbara. And I'm probably yelling, so let me let me bring it down a notch because the camera is like right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, too funny. Okay, so as you can tell, look, I grabbed my Lazy Susan. We used it for nothing but um, to stack papers on. So I was like, I'm still in that. I've been using it to paint on. Um, I'm going to use this little heart that I have right here. Um, so we're just going to try it and see. I have my um, heat gun over here to use. I have uh, paint off to the side. I wanted to show you guys, um, always look at like Lowe's and Home Depot. I got this for a dollar. It's just, what is it? It's almost eight fluid ounces of paint and it's one of their oops ones. And this is called gray Palomino, but, um, I'm going to use it as the base cause it's not white. It's like an off color. I want to say eggshell, but it has that little gray tint in it. So that, that's what we're going to use for the base here. So, hi, Mom. Um, so, I painted um, that exo sign. I got another request last night for how do you print the animal print. So, I'm going to show you. So, first, we're going to paint the base here. And all I'm taking is I have, um, I got some new brushes. And I have them in this little uh, jar here. I'm just going to paint the base. And scoop up this uh, gray um, great well yeah it doesn't look gray but whatever it's just not white you know get a lot on your brush I've been experimenting more which is good right and see look at if you guys are painting get yourself a lazy Susan I don't even know how much they are. I've had this one forever and I'm telling you it was collecting paper uh, in the kitchen. So now it's being useful, right? Hi, Leslie. And this is just a sample piece just so you guys can see what the heck is happening here. But um, I'm trying not to get like a bunch of globs off the edge. I'm going to cover the whole thing. I am going to use the heat gun, so it might get a little bit loud. So if it's too loud, just um, turn your camera down. So there's that. It looks okay. It's kind of, this is um, satin. Hi, hi. Okay, I'm going to use the heat gun. This was, I don't even know, I think $20 at Lowe's. It looks gray on camera. It'll probably be gray when we dry it. We're just going to zap it with some of the heat. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, guys. Yep, try the thrift stores for the Lazy Susan. Guys, it could be beat up, but look, when I'm doing stuff, could just turn this and I don't have to worry about um, the board down here if you hold this too close to your paint it'll start to bubble we don't want that <laughs> yay guys and thank you for sharing thank you thank you I hope you guys had a great weekend. 
And what I'm doing is I'm standing off to like an, at an angle and the uh, light shining off it. I'm seeing if there's any wet spots. I think that's done enough. There's just a little bit of thickness in the middle, but it'll be okay. Okay, so there's that. I didn't do the edges. You can do the edges. Usually what I take is the brush, and I just kind of go like this, just so it's not too much. because there's a lot on the brush still. And then I'll barely pick some up. I'll even like tap it into the lid just to get it on that edge. And then it doesn't really kind of get on the top. Okay, so now I have this brush. I don't even know where this came from. It just has this like, um, like round it's real coarse and all i'm going to do is pick up paint and then just make like a like a dot but let me get you i got this tip from tamara bennett i'm in her painters group and i've been using egg an egg carton <laughs> for the paint so i have this fawn color from um, Deco Americana, Deco Art Americana. This is fawn. And then I have gold. So I'm going to do both to show you what it looks like. Um, Jackie, you can email me. So I'm just squirting a little bit into the um, bottom here. And all I'm going to do, so I put it here and here. So I just take the brush and kind of get it in there. I don't want too much on there because I don't want it to look like a polka dot. I want it to be like messy, right? So then I'm just going to make like this splotch. See how those are splotchy? This one had a bubble. See how it's not perfect? And it's just kind of random. Let me get a little bit more. And I'm kind of dabbing off the excess. I don't want too much on there. You don't want it to make it look like, um, like it's uh, supposed to be like that, kind of. Because animal prints are so random, right? I'm going to rinse the brush off and then do a little bit of the gold on the other side to show you. Let me move this, my water thing. Richard did take pictures of me before we went live so you can see what's happening here. Yep, just save your egg carton. Actually, I have two more down here that are waiting for uh, to be used. <laughs> this one is, I'm just not done with it yet. <laughs> okay, so I cleaned the brush off. Now I'm going to pick up some of that gold, which is right here. So I'm just going to like dip the brush in and there's too much on there. So I'm tapping it off, um, kind of like inside. And then the same thing, you're just gonna, let me move it this way so you can see. You're just gonna do like this little splotch. If you want them bigger, do it bigger. Find a, that one had a hair on it. Find a bigger brush. This is just something small that I had on hand. So see how there's dots? Okay, so set the brush down and then we're gonna get black. And then I have this um, little brush. And these are those, um, can you see that? Royal and Lang Nickel, Crafter's Choice. This is a quarter inch. They came in a whole pack and I have all of these. So I just got so many choices. Um, let me dry this a little bit though. I'm gonna turn the turn the gun back on.
So it's kind of messy and random. Let me put my email address in here. Hot mesh mom at there we go. Hi, hi. Okay, so then I have because I'm gonna use a lot of black and white, I bought uh, the bigger bottles of black and white, and this is the 16 fluid ounce. I think these were on sale when I got them. I don't remember. So I just kind of shake it up. And then because I don't need that much, I'm actually just going to probably dip from the lid. And I'm just going to dip a little bit in there. And then you're just going to do these, um, like, little marks. So some I'm doing two and some I'm doing three. See how that's coming out, you guys? So you just get a little bit on there. I just have the tiniest bit. And then um, just do your marks. And there's probably a better way to do this, but this is what I picked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, of course, everybody has their own way. You could do, like, pinks and purples and, you know, uh, oops, that gold was kind of wet. Let me brush, wipe it off. Um, but super fast way from far away. I'm just looking at it on the screen. It doesn't look half bad, you know. This gold is still a little wet, but you're just making these, like, little uh, round marks. Some of these are too straight over here, so I'm probably going to come back and clean them up a little bit. But super fast, throw something together. You need animal print. Look what you just did, right? And all I'm doing is taking the brush and doing like a little swirl motion. Like that one, I don't know what happened that happened there. And that's how I did it. I could probably use something else right here. Let's see. I think I had gold last. Let me get some of this off here. Isn't that neat, you guys? You can make little ones. Just put random. Paula, I'm in Tamara Bennett's um, Painter's Clubhouse. Oops. And that's how you make your marks. You could probably do like bigger spots, smaller spots. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know if this is cheetah or what, um, but that's all it is. You take something like this and pounce it on there. You don't want it to be too perfect. And then just take your other color, your darker color, and then do the other side. Isn't that cool, you guys? So you can see the gold over here on this side is a little bit shinier. And then this is that fawn. But that's how you do your animal. Yay! Paula, this was one of the um, videos in there. So you guys learned something new today. Yay! So if you guys do paint something with animal prints, please um, either email it to me or post it so we all can see. Um, but isn't that cool? So this is just a small um, part. Let me, let me get the tape measure. I think it's the 10 inch one. No, this is an eight inch heart. We do have the hearts. Um, and this is something, um, not this one, I'm designing something different. Um, cheetah, there you go, cheetah print. I'm designing something different to put on the truck, and I have to finish the truck here. 
I painted it white to get it going. Um, I'm going to do another video and show you guys how to paint that truck. So perfect for Valentine's Day, right? You could do um, what something on the base, do like a pink instead of the fawn or the brown or gold, do a pink with the black or pink and red. How cute would that be? Um, let me see. There's something I could test it on. I don't have anything. Hold on. We're going to test it on the paper. Let me clean my brush off. Just to see what it would look like. Let me get some pink. Pink rose, and then what is this? What's red? What red is this? Okay, we're just going to do something fancy here. So I have pink rose from Craft Smart. Let's put some pink in here. And then I have bright red from Apple Barrel. So I'm going to take pink. I'm going to do it right off to the side, right over here, so you can see. Taking my pink, splotching it. And then red. Let me clean that brush off. Oh, this is a different brush. Let me clean the other brush off. Ugh, it still has black in it. Hold on. Let me get that black out of there. Okay. So same brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of the red. Hold on. Let me dry this. It's too wet. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. Let me zap it a little bit here. Bye, Paula. Hi, Krista. Hi, Carrie. So take that red and just have a little bit on the end. And then let me get some more. What do you think about that? See, there's all different ways you can do it. You don't have to stick with the browns and blacks. So that's cute. That's pretty Valentine's y, right? Let me see if I could bring it down closer. I'll probably mess it up. But you can see, super cute, you guys. Okay, that's all I have for right now. I gotta eat lunch. Richard's already started to eat lunch. Really hope you guys like it. Hey, Darlene. Um, learn something new. Totally make something big. You could probably use like a sponge or something. Cut it. You know, you can get those uh, square sponges. Cut it. Make it round depending on how big you want it, I guess. You could try that. Pink and red dots with black. That would be cute. Let's see. Let me get... I still have... I closed the black. Let's see. See, you could do whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because <laughs> it's not going to look perfect like that. <laughs> oh, too funny. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you a little bit later. Owen has a follow-up appointment today with the dentist. So I got to run him over there. So I love you guys. Thanks for joining me.